Now it's time for the moment of truth. We need to create the logic that will count the bangs received into polybang and then send bangs out of the various outlets. Let's head to the onBang message method and let's go ahead and get rid of the post. We don't need that anymore. We'll save the other outlet calls. We'll use them in a moment. And let's capture the values from the struct. So t int mod a equals x mod a. Copy this and paste it to get mod b. Then let's create a variable called mod sync. And that will be mod a multiplied by mod b. So this will essentially give us the point at which both mod a and b are banging. And then finally, the current count, which we will represent with n. And we'll grab x current count. We'll start with the code that counts. So x current count and just we'll increment it. Now before that we're always going to send the current count to the last outlet but not the one. Instead x current count and let's go ahead and delete this since we just copied and pasted it. Now before this an if else statement If n mod mod sync equals zero, then we're at the point where both mod a and mod b should fire. So we'll scroll down. Let's copy all three lines here and paste within the first part of the conditional statement. After that, we want to reset the count. So x current count is zero. Now, if that isn't the case, then we need to simply test for n mod a and n mod b. So if n mod mod a is zero, then we want to send a bang to outlet a, and we'll copy that and paste for mod b. Okay, let's scroll down and get rid of these other outlet bang calls. Save it, and now it's time to build so we're going to clean and build. Okay, no errors. Right click on the product. Let's copy it and paste it into our test folder and replace it. Let's go ahead and launch PD. Ahead of time, I've created uh, these sort of synth chirp sounds. So let me turn on the DSP. And what we'll do is we'll create polybang so that mod A will go to the first chirp, mod B the second, and then the sync will go to the third, and then we'll always see the counting. So let's create polybang. And let's do three and two as the arguments. Connect the outlets. And then let's create a bang. And send it to the inlet. So now if I start banging, of course, that's mod zero for all of them, so all of the outlets will fire. Then the two fires, because that's the second argument, so every two bangs. So now it would be neater if I created a toggle that went to a metro, let's say at 200 milliseconds, and then automated this. Let's turn that on. Remember that we created a reset message. And let's connect that to the left inlet. And when we click it, it'll start counting at zero again. Watch down here. We could change the creation arguments. Let's say we wanted seven and six. And when we change the creation arguments, it actually reinitializes polybang. So it starts counting from zero again. And we could reset midstream. And we also have these other inlets. This one will set the first number, this one will set the second. So let's go ahead and 
let's say two for the middle inlet and five for the last inlet. So now if I click the two, now it's two and six. Let's go ahead and reset. And if I click the five, now it's two and five. Let's reset it. So there you have it. We have a control external that we created in C and is working within PD. Now let's say we gave this to somebody to use and they weren't quite sure how to use it. Well, what would they normally do? They would right click the object and choose help. Well, if we do that here, there is nothing that happens. So the next thing we'll look at is how to incorporate the help patch for this file.